Greetings, peacekeepers, and welcome back to another episode of Starfleet Command, Orion Pirates Plus Mod. I am Rear Admiral Tarek of the Carrier Purview, the largest carrier that we can possibly get that's not a battleship carrier. We are out here doing work, kicking butt, taking names in our war of pacification against the Gorn Confederation. In fact, we have managed to split them in twain, slicing them apart. Uh, last episode, we uh, did some pretty good work, blew up a uh, starbase, I believe, and then uh, the game crashed on us. Not so great. Uh, especially because we are trying to cause as much damage as possible. Uh, I do believe we had actually taken out this starbase. Unfortunately, the autosave, this is where it leaves us, so we still have more work to do. So let's get right back into the action, causing as much damage as we possibly can, because, quite frankly, we want to uh, get the pressure off of this planet. Uh, as long as they have those starbases there, they could potentially cause damage to us. Or at least uh, make it more difficult for us. All the fighters being launched immediately. Let's get to his ECM because inevitably he did set it up for a maximum ECM. He did, however, set up properly the fact that we want to uh, to reinforce our forward shield. Our fighters are probably set to attack. Uh, I don't want to do that yet. So fighters, get back here. I want you back guarding me. Actually, what I really want is... You go after him. You go after him. You go after him. And you go after him. There we go. Now we have the proper fighter set up. Our, uh, our PPD is not yet charged. And uh, we're going to see if we can't get him by this. Just a quick probe. Make sure that he's not carrying any, uh, any truly scary stuff. He is not. Uh, I was mainly worried about a Plasma D, which he, he might have had, but he ended up not. So, things working out quite well for us. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get a chance to use our PPDs. Um, that's really cool that you decided to get involved in that. But I didn't want you to get involved in that. I was fully, fully sure that the Injunction and I could take care of that ourselves. Uh, now these fighters are pretty heavily damaged. So, get out there and go kick some butt! That's why we're out here. That's what we're doing. We're going to kill as many of these Gorn people as possible. You only hit with two of them. Not, not great. I don't think that was an underloaded shot. We are increasing speed to the maximum. Because only one of those was necessary, man. Let the fighters go out and do their nasty work. They are very effective at this sort of show. Just, they're perfect for this sort of... Sort of get in there and blow up everything. Uh, take a quick glance. Yeah, you're going to... We're going to do just fine out here. There we go! And a quick convoy raid. No muss, no fuss, taken care of without any real trouble, thanks to our carrier capability. The carrier really does help. Um, whether or not it's like the decisive factor, I'm not 100% sure on, but it's something that we're going to uh, try and keep rolling. We do neutralize the uh, tile, which is excellent. We're going to pop back here just momentarily. I want to check the supplies. Uh, I did end up finally getting around to checking the fighters. And... Uh, I was right, although we all kind of knew that I was right already, and it was kind of obvious, so it's not really an achievement of being right on this, but uh, the ISC do not use heavy weapons on their fighters, which is cool in some ways, because it means our fighters never need to come home to rearm and repair. Well, they do need to come back to repair, but not to rearm. Uh, most other fighters that carry a heavy weapon, Federation fighters have photo torpedoes, missile launchers, Hydrant fighters, they've got things like fusion beams and hellbores, but they come pre-charged with like a single or two shots. Uh, and then they have to come back to the ship in order to reset that shot. Our fighters don't have to do that. They have much better endurance. Uh, the Tort 3s come equipped with a single Phaser 1 and two Phaser 2s. The Caveats have three Gatling Phasers and a Phaser 2. So their close range punch is like absurd. That's insanely powerful. So we're going to switch out one of our Tort squad Squadrons for a Caveat Squadron because I do like how much firepower we can throw somebody's way. Uh, we're going to see if we can't stealth cap. I want to take this facility intact. And if we go on a base assault and we destroy it, well, we don't get the facility intact. So we're going to come out here and immediately go red alert. Pop over here, pop over here. Yes, we are good and ready to roll. Increase speed ECM to off. Shell conversion already underway. System going wonderfully. I do need to look up the fighter shortcuts because it is very cool to have, you know, your fighters ready to rock in just one big whoosh swarm. And I assume there is a launch all fighters on defend me button. Uh, still not super happy by the fact that I cannot figure out which fighter is which. 
Uh, that is definitely something that needs to change. The only way I can discover that is if I go in here or if they are off screen. Which, you know, that's a bit of a hassle. We have a heavy cruiser and a second heavy cruiser. Pop over here. They look identical. Probe away. And fighters, we're going to go... All of you on cap now. We're going to take a look at you, and then we're going to pop over to you. So what do you got? Please tell me neither of you has have D-type plasmas, because if you don't, we're in business. Uh, you do not. Two S's and a big ol' R-type torpedo boat. Okay, so this guy is definitely the bigger danger. He is MCCX. Okay, so we uh, can set up our second weasel. Got our fighters on combat space patrol. I would also like more control over the fighters in the next, if someone ever gets around to making the next version of the game. Because, you know, cool stuff. And yeah, fighters just zipping around, doing their thing. And. Yeah, so we want to worry about the MCC, MCCX, yeah, and a CMFF. So I'm assuming the CMFF... Wait, it didn't have two S-type torpedoes, it only had two S's. Because there is the F-type refit, which basically adds an additional two... I almost want to call them point defense plasmas, <laughs> but that's not, like, really the thing that it is. It's, it's not that. Okay, so we got our first PFs. We are going to go activate our tactical cogitators. And go, you attack, you attack, you attack, and you attack. Back to us. We're going to join with him in our targeting of this one. And I'm going to slam him with a PPD as well. So this MCC X. Was this the one that dumped him, or this the one? I'm not 100% sure. We're going to open fire on this guy, and we're going to uh, get some business done on him. He is focusing on one of my fighter squadrons. That's actually good. Okay, two good hits. And now he's got to pay attention to me. It's not a great idea for me to want to get in close with these guys. Okay, so he's fired at me. We're going to dump a wild weasel, and we're going to stay stopped. I think that's all of them. Yeah, he just unleashed all of them on me, so that's going after this. And that MCCX just got mauled by the caveats. Those Phaser Gs, I mean, they're amazing. But if the caveats could also take care of these uh, these PFs, I would be much appreciative. Because that's why I built you. I did order you to go do that, but you are not doing that. Slow down to put more forward for shield power up. Did take it on the nose, didn't take any real damage from it. We're going to open fire with our phasers. We got one of them down. Okay, so this is the one that actually fired it. And now the fighters are really getting in there. Oh, this is a nice way of doing it. And we get even one of our rear-firing plasma torpedoes in on this action. How are the caveats doing? Uh, still all good squadrons. Yep. Right there. Just the ability to land sound. <laughs> Three Gatling phasers. I don't know if the fighter Gatling phasers are weaker than the uh, normal Gatling phasers. I assume they are. But still, that's that's potentially 12 shots out of a fighter. Just straight up, boom. Caveats are awesome. I love them. Go. We have not managed to take it. Uh, we're going to pop heck here. See if we need any fighter resupply, which we definitely do. Yeah, give me full reloads on all of these guys. Oh, that ended up being expensive as all hell. Uh, let's try and avoid situations like that if we can. We'll get on a convoy raid and see if we can't go after these guys without uh, damaging too many of our fighters that much. Because, yeah, that was kind of scary. Maximum alert, increase speed. Switch over to the purview, purview. Increase speed and stop it with the ECM. I already knew you were doing it. You shouldn't have been doing it. Start prepping a wild weasel, though. We have one, two, three freighters on scope, so we are starting from the rear chase position. Not a great position to be in, especially in our somewhat slow carrier. Okay, all things set up. I see no enemy on the scope just yet. We're going to set ourselves up on a little bit of an intercept course. It's not really, because uh, I'm not willing to do that much math in order to figure out the exact triangulation. Another freighter has just showed up, so we're up to one, two, three, four, five of these freighters. Going to see uh, what else sort of pops our way. Looking out at the distance, and as soon as the PPD is loaded, I'm probably going to buff up the speed, quite frankly. 
Because we do need to actually catch these guys. If we don't, we're going to be in trouble. Uh, that's not the key I want. I want power. Power, how much am I uh, putting power into things? Apparently I'm putting like 19 points of power into pumping up the, uh, pumping up the shield. We are only spending seven? Or is this demand? Yeah, this is demand, isn't it? Desired weapon energy use 17. We're only giving it seven. Ah, that's not a big deal, quite frankly. Uh, we have all six freighters in sight, but we're still looking for its escort. Not seeing it. Oh, there it is. Wow. She's tiny. Probe. And uh, fighters. Kill. Death. Murder. Destruction. I did not pay attention to this, so it was a bit of a wasted system. Uh, we're now going to pull in, however, and we're going to start ripping him apart. Range 20 and closing at range 15. You know the drill. We open fire with the PPD. Technically, we... Oh, it's a good thing we did not send the fighters this way. Because he's armed with a plasma D torpedo. So he's fully ready to cause some plane. Pain. Not plane. Well, I suppose he is re ready to deal with, p with planes. So we're going to come around. And now we're going to get involved in the action. In the way that we do. We'll just increase speed to the maximum. This is kind of our shtick at this point, quite frankly. And pull in nice and close. And I'll target you because... Two down. Come on, you. You're the one. Uh, I gotta slow down, don't I? Slow down, because none of our systems are ready to fire yet. Another one. One of our rear plasma torpedoes. You are the last freighter. It's a shame I can't just, like, order him to surrender. I assumed that they would. I mean, he's a freighter captain. He's got nothing else. What's he gonna do? We're not, it's not like we're like on an extermination campaign. This is a pacification campaign. We are here to bring them into the fold. To elevate them beyond their baser instincts. That's why we're here. Right? We all believe that, right? Okay, it looks like the Federation are starting to enroach on this territory, so let's pop in here. Darn it, it's gotta be a base assault. I didn't want it to be a base assault. If we had gotten one more mission on this tile without a base assault, we could have taken it with the Starbase. But it appears that it must be this way. We have a heavy dreadnought with us. What? So we will just get up to speed a little bit and start our wild weasel conversions. That's going on fine. Uh, I need this to shut off the ECM. So we're looking at two heavy cruisers and the Tricera the Tricericon, which is a heavy dreadnought. Not the most deadly heavy dreadnought I've ever seen. We've seen cru battle cruisers with better. Plasma R-type armaments and that. And the Fire Death. The straightforward name that is the Fire Death. Uh, am I to assume that you are a war cruiser? HBD, actually, yeah, he's a he's a heavy war destroyer escort. If it has, like, 8 million things in the name, it's a heavy war destroyer, ex heavy war destroyer escort. Let's see if I can get that out in one sentence. Or just in one go. Uh, are we charging up our PDPD? I think, yes, we are. So it's just the graphical glitch that's going on. Uh, our fighters, we shall get out into space. Launch all fighters. Get them out there immediately. Ready. First wild whistle's done. Of course, we shall prep a second one because uh, things could get ugly pretty fast. So keep them in a nice close area around us. We're going to pull over to the Heavy War Destroyer and his Dreadnought buddy because uh, if we can get them to take the shots, uh, that's a heck of a lot less damage that comes our way. I'm not entirely sure how well armored we are. Uh, we are a heavy carrier, which means we are kind of like built only for carrying fighters and doing all that for sort of fun stuff. But does that mean we like have Dreadnought armor because we're in the Dreadnought category? I don't think so. I would really be surprised if that were the case. Like, super happy about it, but still really surprised. Uh, are we buffing the forward shield with the might of a thousand suns? Not yet. Now we are. Excellent. The decoy is going through quite nicely. Let's take a look over at our Dreadnought Buddy. Dreadnought Buddy, please engage. Thank you. Okay, so they have dropped PFs. Uh, you have pulled yourself out of the normal firing line. Go after him. And you, go after him. So I'm not going to waste my uh, fire on him just yet. 
Seriously, which was the other caveat that I sent that way? Is it you? Yes, it is. Okay. Focus on this guy. We are still not in range for a good shot. Wow, they're just really ripping into each other. Fire Death is getting involved in the fight that I had sent my guys to handle. Uh, increase speed. We were going really slow. So all the PFs are now dealt with. Fighters, let's dive in. All fighters get involved. Rock and roll. Uh, where is the MSRX? What are you equipped with? Uh, two F torpedoes. So you were the, uh, the MSRX was the carrier of the DFs, which means you are, uh, the more dangerous opponent that is currently being focused by, like, the entire fleet. Yeah, you're dead. Fighters, let's get involved over here. And there we go with that. All the fighters assigned to there. Mostly caveats with a single squadron of torts. Okay, so let's get these guys back in. Return. Oh, he was right there. Let's get them all home. You all need to rearm, refuel, repair. And according to these guys, the uh, the next sector is off in this direction. Or are you guys just doing a zigzag like scout pattern? Increase speed. Yep, there it is. So we have the target. And we are prepping brand new fighters, getting all our pilots refreshed, getting them their orange slices, and then patching up the holes that are in the fighters. Uh, they did pretty good. Didn't take too much damage from that, a little bit, but they will be back to full strength now. That's one of the great advantages of us, is we regenerate back to full health and power after we uh, get our fighters in. So the fighter battery is fully ready. Let's send a probe his way, just to kind of see what he's got. I'm not 100% sure. Hopefully not a whole lot of plasma D. <laughs> He's got a lot of the Ds. Oh god. Four. Is it just the four? It's just the four, but that's a lot of Plasma D fire. I am very hesitant to do this. Let's get all of my guys out. Just so they're ready to go. That's also a lot of Plasma R fire. Okay, so we lost the, the Heavy War Destroyer. Slow down to real time. I may have botched this up by not being up front with them. Let's get all the fighters in there. Have they not punched through any of the shields? Oh no, that was the PFs! Okay. Whew. How are you doing? Oh, not well. Not well at all. You're doing, basically, you have not taken any damage. At all. Let's get the fighters in there. They'll be able to blow a hole open, but this is going to be expensive. Like, really expensive. Oh god, I'm about to lose 16 fighters at 35. I don't know what he did, but that was a mistake. That we're going to take advantage of every single time in every single way. So we got free shots in through. So that's great. And now our fighters are getting in. They're into the mix now. Alright, fighters. Do me proud. Just unload with everything you got. I need you to open up a hole. A big hole, if you can. Injunction, I am freeing you from the formation. Oh. It's just so much... So much plasma D fire. Injunction, you may engage at will. What happened to one of my rear shields? What what happened to this rear shield? Did I drop a shield? Okay, so the fire death is now officially dead. How are my fighter squadrons doing? They're alive! Blowing out huge chunks and holes in the enemy. They are alive! Oh, you beautiful bastards. Oh, did I take plasma fire just without paying any attention to it? These fighters just... Just... I'm going to owe this entire victory to these fighters. Never in the history of my gameplay on this was so much owed to so few. Yes, I, I'm relentlessly stealing quotes from people. So apparently we did take, like, Plasma Fire to the butt. Um, okay. 
Fighter squadrons! You done good. Come home. You did amazing work out there. I could not be more proud of you. But get back home. Right now. Oh, wow. We took some serious losses. Let's get everybody back on board. One squadron. Two squadron. Okay, all four squadrons are back. So, let's uh, repay them. There we go! Excellent work. Whew! Fighter boys. We owe every we owe this entire victory to them. I was not expecting them to be that effective. I really wasn't. I was expecting the, that Plasma D to just destroy them, and they went in and wrecked face. We don't get to take the station. We blew up the station. But, this planet is more secure. Let's go to the supply yard. Yes! Because they were all back home, they're all considered to be at full health. Yes! So we got to avoid some serious payment that we would have had to make there. Uh, so we'll patch that. Miscellaneous, we're good. He could use some more Marines. Get him up to 16. Get him up to all the mines and a spare part. We'll spend 111. That was worth it. Shipyard, 2200. What can we buy? Not a CCZ yet. Although that is definitely something we're probably going to look into because it's essentially a CCY with uh, I-type torpedoes in the rear. And I would definitely like to have basically a better CCY as one of my escorts. Escort efficiency really is kind of determined at this point by, um, well, quite frankly, by what you're fighting. It really doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense. We're going to pop in here and see if we can't uh, back them off. We don't want them here. We're not happy with them here. But anyway, uh, what makes a good escort really depends on who you're fighting. It's the Mirac. Okay. Not complaining. D d do not take that as complaining. But still, it's the Mirac. Uh, let's get the ECM under control. Let's get you. Shuttle bay. Scramble. One, two, three, and four. Target you with our primary weapons. And increase the speed up to 11. Hopefully our PPD... It will not be ready by then. Oh, we have a friend. The community. Here we are all a fun, peaceful, fun-loving community. He's got kind of a pathetic government. I think the fighters are going to kill him. Yeah, we saw that coming. Increase speed to maximum. Weapons are at maximum. Sensor decoy, decoy is ready. I don't think that's going to be required. Um, quite frankly, doesn't look like it. It's only a four-ship convoy anyway. A little convoy. One of the Cam oh, it's Cambro. The Cambro Syndicate, or whatever they want to call themselves. Mission complete. Excellent work was done. Boom, boom, boom. Just didn't stand a chance. I don't think it's a syndicate. It might be a syndicate. They're, it's one of the pirate factions. This is not important. So, uh, did not back the Federation off like I wanted to. Hmm. Let's extend a little bit into here. We'll go on another convoy raid since convoy raids are fast, fun, and easy. Hopefully, until we run into the one convoy raid where we run into the giant stuff. Increase speed. We are in the chase position once again. Come over here. We need to turn... Oh, he never got a chance to do it. We switched over just fast enough. Reinforcements of the shields. Reinforce. Oh. Maximum alert, please. Forward. Reinforce. Maximum. Excellent. So I see two freighters. Really? Okay, for those of you who are not paying attention or who just listen to me because I do, like, speak about everything I talk about, we have two injunctions. Okay. Uh, we also have a Dreadnought. Not happy. Dreadnought and a heavy cruiser. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, not good. Very not good. This Dreadnought is equipped with a grand total of... He's a DNF. 
which means he's not a particularly modern dreadnought. Okay, here's how this is going to work. Fighters. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to kill the escort first. And we're going to kill the escort first because I think with my caveats I can take them. I think. But only if we're together and only if we hit as one gigantic fist. So reinforce that forward shield to maximum. And pray. Um, praying would be a good, good idea right now. Single R-type torpedo and two Fs. I'll let the injunction, the small injunction, handle that one. And fighters, you're in. Rock and roll. It's gonna be rough, it's gonna be difficult, but I believe in you. I think you can do it. So they have fired all their firepower on the injunction, which is a huge mistake, quite frankly. Why didn't he try and defend any of that? One miss. Okay, so we got six hits. Second Wild Weasel is set and ready to go. Injunction's in trouble and needs help. Um, there's no other way to put that. Dude, I gave you orders. Kill the Sith. The Sith. I need you to kill the Sislith. So, I think we killed the PFs. So the PFs are dead. Punched a hole in his rear shields. We're going to keep going this way. Caveats are instead deciding to kill the Thunderchild, which is not the order that I gave them. That's not cool, guys. We had a deal. You're supposed to, like, pay attention and pretend I'm the captain. And then uh, I give you snacks. Or something like that. Okay, so one of the freighters is dead. Because they are not paying attention to my most recent orders. We have managed to punch out another shield. His forward shields are also low. Uh, one of our rear-type torpedoes. Crunching down another shield. Dealing a lot of damage through. And I'm going to come up on you. Because I'm not going to get the turn in order to kill this guy. It's just not going to happen. However, I am going to fire all the port side weapons, which I'm not getting a shot with. You're dead. So, if the caveats could get back over here and fight the target I would like them to fight, because I am not built for this. I'm a carrier. Let's see if we can't save the injunction, though. I would like to save the injunction, if at all possible. Three freighters destroyed. The fighters are having a field day, just not on the target I want them to. What was that injunction? Did you just take that to the face for no reason? We'll pull away. Nice shooting, Tex. Okay, target is the final target. And fighters will go off and do their own thing, I guess. I'm not entirely happy that they did that. Like, yeah, it was effective. They flew in, they annihilated the one and killed the PFs. And then went after the the group, but but my orders were pretty specific. I wanted you to go after the after the dreadnought because I thought it was a better better thing to do. But I guess my fighter captains are all like, "Yeah, we've seen Battlestar Galactica. We know who Boomer is. Just d don't be those people. Be the be the real pilots. You know who like listen to me. Because if you don't, I'm I'm gonna feel totally inadequate for like not being able to like tell my fighter pilots what to do. In any event, that's an episode." And we are doing good work out here. We have managed to uh, wipe out the starbase over here. There's another starbase over here that we really want to take care of. But we are now threatening another Gorn world. Uh, unfortunately, the Federation are now getting involved. The purview is definitely proving to be an incredibly excellent investment. And I'm very happy that we decided to make the switch into carriers. 
But uh, until next time, I've been Tarak. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to get a notification every time I put up a new video, which is every single day at 12 or your regional equivalent, please press the little bell icon next to the subscribe button, leave a comment, say something, say hi to everybody, enjoy the game, and I will see you all next time.